gets girl. Boy 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 gets girl. The play is about how we as men pursue women. Tony takes it too far. He portrays himself like a very nice person, and he really is until he's challenged. That's kind of where the fine line between stalking and uh, pursuit really starts to show itself. Stalking someone's a serious thing. The romantic plot line is, you know, this this guy who really likes this girl and will do anything to get her, but, you know, at what extent do, do you draw the line? The message in this play is about stalking. It's happening every day and people don't really notice it because it's, again, very accepted by our, you know, our society. So I think people should come and kind of just take a look and probably open your eyes to notice what's going on um, in your own life that might be similar to this. As a woman, you're expected to be a certain way. And it, maybe it's fairy tales that you've read, maybe it's movies that you've seen, but it's just you expect the guy to pursue you, you expect the guy to send you flowers, call you, so the line is very thin to cross. Now whenever we want, we can type someone's name in and figure out anything we want about them. Everything. The social networking is crazy, the texting. The internet's not really mentioned in the play so much, but so many people meet people online. You don't know that you're being stalked. Because our world is so open through the internet, really are. You're being stalked. You're being pursued. More people are going to be interested in you because they see you on Facebook. You can practically know what they're doing at any time of the day because they, you know, they update their status, they tweet. And it's, it's, unfortunately, it's kind of inevitable that you, you, in a way, stalk someone. Oh, I stalked you. And that means going through your pictures. It means going through your friends' pictures. It means, you know, seeing what you did last night, what you did last week. Stalking can be so much more immediate. Even though you have privacy settings on your Facebook, you can still be accessed through other people's pages, or, or you're still so connected that it's hard to break apart and not be stalked. Our society today is, is so different from just 10 years ago. And it's kind of scary especially Facebook, things, you know, are being affected by everyone at any time, and it's kind of scary to think about that. These small things are kind of like the introduction of how big and how real this can actually be. It shows a bunch of different aspects of our relationship. Just the thought of someone makes us move or makes us change our name. It's really scary. It's confusing to date, and it's difficult to date, but it's not sometimes the hard part about dating is you don't want to cross that line. You can pursue a woman, that's fine, pursue her, but how are you going to do that? Are you going to, are you going to really, really push it too far to the point where she has to call a cop, she has to change her name, she has to move, like, that's where you bring it too far. Her life is completely flipped upside down because of this guy, and it was supposed to be just a simple blind date, 